Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? And then what do you do with it? You stick it in here and Cool. Howdy friends, I got a new tool here. Uh, I'm gonna do some woodworking tomorrow, a uh, woodworking project for the Forerunner back there. And I got a new tool. This is the Craig Jig K5 um, pocket screw jig, pocket screw thing. Um, basically it'll let you make joints with, with wood. It'll let you make joints like this without you know, a bunch of glue. It'll be should be pretty easy to make joints like that. And I've got a project I'm going to make for the Forerunner tomorrow. But today I just want to make sure that I know how to use this thing and that it's got everything I need. So, so um, oh look, Kristen's on uh, Instagram. Hi, say hi, say hi, Kristen. Uh... Hi, Kristen. She likes you for some reason. We're doing this video live on Instagram and also I'm gonna save it on YouTube. So we um, have this handle. We have this handle. So we're gonna open it up and show you what's inside this this jig. This is oh. like the newest version of this particular and, jig. Now it's good. Oh sweet. <laughs> hey wait wait let's show them. So first there's a booklet. Booklet. But we're not gonna read that. No. So here's the whoa it's heavy. No it's not heavy. So here's the jig. It is. Wait, please. There is more stuff. Yep, I know. So it's got um, this thing clamps it down so it pushes this in. And then you can see there's a piston on the back side. Can I try to pull it? Yeah, see, look at that. So that's pretty nice. And then here's the actual jig. Um, oh, look, pull that and get it out. So here's the the pocket hole screw jig. Yeah. And I think you can get different ones of these for different purposes. Hold on. Hold on, bud. And this? So I think we'll just use this one because I think the this? standard. The standard. I can't see. I know. All right. So this looks like, hold on. This looks like a whole bunch of, um, of uh, screws. Yeah. Sample screws. Sample screws. They have all these. Wait, please, wait, please. They are labeled. And by part number. This is oh, yeah. sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. And then I have my swimsuit on. And he has a swimsuit on. Which so, is not for inside and working. There's not really enough screws to do anything with. Um, but they have these at Home Depot. Can I try nope. to push nope. that? Nope. Nope. They have these at Home Depot, but they don't have this at Home Depot. They have the K4, which is different. And this, so this has a, a vacuum attachment and for. And we have wood. Hey, please quiet down. We have a vacuum attachment here for sucking up chip, uh, wood. wood chips and sawdust. And then this thing looks like you can slide it back and forth. Oh, I wonder how I. Oh, there it goes back. So you push this to go back, and then it just ratchets forward onto your wood. Um, let's see what else is in the box. So what else is in the box? Oh, these are the wings. Yeah. And that's it. There's nothing else in the box. No. Except some stuff that fell off my tree. Uh, so these are the little wings to store the bits. And what's stop, inside? Stop, to store the bits in. In this one we have some sample... Um, and what's in this one? Stop, some sample uh, uh, plugs, hole plugs. Yeah. And I'm going to open bud, this one. Wait, bud. And then... Um, spacer and block. Stop, this? please. Stop, please. So, spacer block. I'm just going to help you this with the things. And I don't know what that is. This is screw length gauge. Of and some kind. let's open this one. Screw length. So that must be, I don't know what that is. Let's open this one. This one should have, stop, please. This has, stop, please. Um, looks like some mounting hardware to mount it to. Um, I think this is the set collar for the and drill. And what's 
this in here. And I don't know what this is. This big, please stop. Big bolt. A thumb screw. And a wrench. A nut and an Allen key. Allen key. Here's a looks like a sticker with some um, cheat sheets. Maybe that goes on one of these surfaces. Probably goes on this one. And then, hopefully this is the drill bit. The drill bit. So this is the, the driver. Stop, please. The this is the driver. It's a square head driver. And it's long so that you can access the pocket holes well. And then this is probably the drill bit. Oh, yep, true. this is the drill bit. So mm. it's... Um, Let's see what's in here. Oh. Just, uh, it doesn't say what diameter stickers? it is, but it's, see how it's got this, this, is the stickers small, for this one. It's got a small drill bit here, and then this is for the shoulder that the screws end up um, pulling against when you actually use this thing. So we'll see. But let's set it up. Yep. Let's set it up because I got these two pieces of wood. Yep, I'm gonna to do test it out stickers. with. Oh, please don't, please don't do that. Thank you. Can right. I do the stickers? Here, hop down over here. You go get your little steppy stool and you can look over here. So I think this goes... Oh wait, maybe I'll read the directions. Nah. Who reads the directions? I bet Kristen read the directions, didn't you? Don't do the stickers. I'm gonna do um, So this is how it sets up. I'm thinking that goes there. This goes here, like that. Cameras can't see. Let me reposition the camera so it can see. There we go. So here we have the setup, like that. Um, looks like maybe you just drill it into your top. Your, your tabletop. Did you not do the stickers, Daddy? We didn't do the stickers yet. Okay. Um, Got my steppy stool. I don't have... I'm not going to drill it in right now because these pieces are really small, but the pieces I'm going to drill tomorrow for the um, project we have for the Forerunner are big, so, so I will drill it in. But it looks okay. like you just drill it into your, your deck right here. Or it could be what this is for. Now, this is plastic. This is a plastic screw. I don't know what that's for. And we... We'll read the directions if it becomes necessary, but only, only in an emergency. This? A hatchet? No, that's that's not part of this setup. That's just fell off my work. It doesn't stay up there very well. No. Nope. All right, so let's let's try this out. Let's set this in here. And let's do this. this, this so we're gonna set this in. Jam. Slide it forward and crank it down. Boom. So that's in there solid. Now we need a drill, which I have right here. Nice DeWalt drill. We will put the drill in. And, okay. Oh, I think this is what this is for. So for this, hmm, let's look at the directions. Oh, well, now we're on the French, the French thing. I have, still haven't figured out what that thing is. Um, First. Let's put this over the top of this thing. Oh, it doesn't go that way. Goes this way? Let's see. So we gotta do the set screw. And then the set screw comes all the way out. Anyone anything more in here? I think what you can do is is um, put it in here and then lock the set screw before it hits the bottom. So let's do stickers. It's for this one. No. Nope. Did you just pull that sticker off? No. Okay, don't pull the sticker off. Okay. It's for this one. Yeah, no. I, okay. Not for this one. This thing, screw length, select, screw selection chart. Yeah, screws, screw that. 
All right. All right, so we got that set up. Let's put the wood back in. And then we'll drill down through it and see how that goes. Whoa. I don't have the vacuum attachment right now. I do have a shop vac, but I don't have it on. But we'll do, we'll do both of them. Let's do both of them. Let's do two. So there we go, we have two pocket screws, and um, you can see the little hole inside there. And so there. we have these and, stickers, um, which is for this Kids one. love stickers, by the way, if you didn't know that already. And let's put them on. So right I do now. know that you don't want to do it this way, Whoa. with the screws on the inside. I just tipped my step stool. You did, because the screws will be going that way. You want to do it this way, so the screws are going into the meaty part of the wood. Um, so I'm going to so, set this up with a, so, um, with a clamp, uh, with a longer clamp. This one so, will work. Let's take this and I know they make special clamps for this, and I'll probably get one tomorrow. So, this goes on this way. But, um, so we're gonna put it on. So we're gonna put this on uh, on here right now. Yep, Rocket just he just keeps talking, the whole time. Do you keep? Do you ever stop talking? No. No, he doesn't stop talking. He just keeps talking. That's just the way it is. All right, so let's look at the screw. So material thickness. This is probably. Um, Five eighths inch, sixteen millimeter. Screw length should be twenty five millimeter, one inch. So let's look at. Um, we got some one inch screws. That seem right. Those seem small. Let's see how that works. One inch screws. And for that, we'll use the. Um, stop. We'll use this driver with the attachment on it. And we'll put the screw in here. Yep. And we'll drive this first screw in. Ooh, this thing is powerful. I'm not gonna use this when I get the good wood tomorrow. I don't know that um, these screws work well in this wood, but um, that's the joint right there. This is, uh, of course, oriented strand board, OSB. And um, this one, for whatever reason, this one on the second one didn't drive all the way in. I wonder if I can make it drive farther. It's just spinning. I wonder if it's not long enough. Let's try the next size up. The um, They don't want to come off of that um, square tip, do they? So the next size up is inch and a quarter. Oh, so I have number eight by inch and a quarter. Number seven by inch and a quarter. Number eight by inch and a half. I'm gonna use the eight by inch and a quarter. The slightly bigger screw and slightly longer than what I just used. I 
have been much better, but as you see, it came out the bottom. So I was right the first time, mm -hmm. one inch. One inch is the way to go. And so that's much stronger. So if you pull it, pull it apart, it's much stronger. I mean, I think I could break it if I wanted to, but if you made a box with four of these joints, it could be plenty strong. So, cool. Should I try and break this? You think I can break this? Yep. Here, let's see if you can break it. Think you can break it? Here, hold both ends. Hold both ends. Rock it. Hold both ends of this. This piece of wood. Okay. Oh, oh, we broke it. Good job. I think um, solid wood or plywood would be much stronger than this and uh, OSB, but that's what we're going to use tomorrow. What do you think? Is this pretty good? Yep. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow I'm going to make a deck box, uh, remake my deck box for the Forerunner. It's going to be able to have a slide out table and it'll be able to hold um, uh, gear underneath and a cooler on top and a dog on top and gear on top and gear on the sides. I've already got something similar if you want to see what I've got currently. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. If you want to see what I've got currently, check out the YouTube channel. There's a, a video about um, the current deck box with a slide out table and everything. Um, but it's made of metal and it rattles like crazy, so I gotta get rid of it. I gotta make something new out of wood. And so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Hey, M the Red, how you doing? Um, how you doing, Poppy Butt? Yep, Poppy's not on Instagram. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Check back tomorrow. And um, hopefully it will all work. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.